it's yours truly, Music Clues here. Hey guys, it's uh, Lula, Leave the Go Gamers. Once again, here was another of Fever's Tavern. Now, this one might be a little smaller than usual because there is not much community news to talk about. About and the video for a uh for um this, this week's CFE's update is six minutes long, so won't have too much to talk about. But we do have a couple of results. We do have uh, a face reveal from one of the popular YouTubers. Won't say who. Yes, and for you sport CFE sports fans, we have some stuff for you in our community news as well this week. So uh, yeah, if you're basically a sports fan. Like for the safety sports and all that, this is the episode for you. Now, first, as like uh, Meets Clue said, uh, like as we do every week, we go over the the update, which I uh, just posted fresh. So we didn't have time to go over it. We just wanted to go over it with first reactions. So um, excuse us if we say something stupid or anything like that, we just want to do first reactions. So, maybe alongside every so often, we might blabber off with new stuff we just saw, so excuse us. <laughs> yeah, excuse us. This is the first time in a while we've had a first reaction to a CFE's update since it was literally just posted. I just hung up with, well, Skype, not literally, like, five minutes ago, and then it just got posted, so I called it back. <laughs> Uh, anyways, without further ado, let's get, without further ado, let's get into this update. Mm -hmm. Hello everyone, Joni, executive producer on Sea of Thieves here with another weekly dev update. Firstly, I wanted to talk a little bit about our September update, which is coming out September the 11th, uh, and is going to be called Smuggler's Fortune. Um, so we we previously announced this as Reaper's Bones, but we decided to change the name. Uh, so it's now called Smuggler's Fortune. Okay, uh, let's so the stop there. The let's stop there. Okay, so for those of you that don't know, outside the U.S., September 11th is actually a day of grievance for us. So uh, us here at the Go Games, we're going to be closed that day. Uh, but... Uh, which means we're not going to be sailing at all either. We're actually going to take a completely um, offline day off. So, again, you won't see us. You won't see us other than, okay, maybe like a few minutes to get our games update. But other than that, um, you're going to be completely cut off from us. Uh, so, those of you that are outside the U.S., uh, we apologize those of you that are inside the U.S. and understand if it's, you know, that 9-11 day, the terrorist attack, um, that is a day of grievance, just so that everyone understands, hey, we're taking the day off because it's a day of grievance uh, nationally. Yeah. Um, and then um, name change. Okay, so final name change. Uh, last minute, it seems like, because, uh, what, we're like a week away from the official release here? Yeah, that that is true. For those who don't know or haven't been keeping up up to date with CFEs or the last couple of updates updates, CFEs has just started to do monthly updates. Uh, so um, our first monthly update, which was back in August, I want to say, uh, that one brought in some. Uh, what was it? What was it? Uh, uh dark relics. Thank you. Uh, Dark Relics was our monthly update for that month. And then this month, uh, we had, um, mm, I keep forgetting. Uh, um, this month was Dark Relics. Um, this was actually the first monthly update this month. Oh, right. Um, yeah, um, at the time of recording, guys, it's still, uh, before the update. So if you're watching post-update, then, um, yes, that was, uh, in past sense, Dark Relics, if, you know, you didn't get into that. Which, by the way, I guess we should, I guess it would be brought up by Joe, but let's talk about the major differences between now and after September 11th. So, after September 11th, we're still going to have the retroactive uh, stuff for... 
um, what happened early on in the game where they started these retroactive achievements. We're still going to have that. Um, the only thing that's going to go away is these time limited stuff. Um, and you'll see if you go into a game right now, they clearly marked it between what's time limited and what isn't. So the only stuff that's going away is anything Dark Relics related. Um, the only thing that won't go away are the Reaper's Chest. So yes, if you're still going after your Reaper's Chest, those foundations are going to stay. And then um, also what's going away, uh, I'm sure you recall me as clues. Um, you're probably like other people that I know you don't, care about Power Legend as much unlike most of us here that are probably watching right now, but I'm sure if you were that crazy, you would want to go for uh, the letters of recommendation. Um, and I'm sure everyone can relate to what that means where you could buy free levels from Duke for 30 bones apiece. Well, with this update, uh, there has been a rise in people buying up their levels, and I'm sure with it being the last week, uh, with what I'm about to say here, because after September 11th, there is going to be a set limit on how many letters you can buy. Um, so, um, if I are you, if you're trying to get in that trend of buying all your levels, do it now, uh, because after September 11th, you will not uh, get it as you want to. It'll be kind of like a monthly thing where you're going to be ration on how many letters you can buy. Um, I'll say that. Right now, um, it is a great time for you letter buyers, although it's always kind of frowned upon, mind you. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, if you are some of those people that go crazy on buying a level, say, I don't know, you got an excuse to, like call or something and you just want to buy pure levels, go ahead. Now's the time. Because after September 11th, uh, you're going to be cut off. That is correct. Okay, now I, now I remember remember what uh, when the monthly update started. So before um, Bla Dark Relics, we had Black Powder sa Slashes. That was our first monthly update. That added the Gunpowder bit. bit uh, the... Hold on. It's a good thing, good thing I have it up on my iPad here. So Black Powder Slashes brought in... Basically, the worst monthly update ever. ever. Um, I looked at my trends. Everyone mostly that I talked to seemed to hate it, so. Yeah. Um, but they did uh, put the memory, uh, make the memory gems easier to find in different places. places. Of course, during that event, event you didn't really, uh, you could find them a lot easier, but now the just as fair as any other thing in the game. <laughs> yes. Yes, in fact, uh, now that you say that, um, let's uh, reiterate to the people that are just jumping in with us now. Because um, what happened is, this was, I seen a lot more returning players and newer players, so let's reiterate what happened. So, for those of you that are just jumping back in for the first time in a while, uh, basically what happened now is uh, you kind of have to be careful when trying to run over those barrels because now they include treasure and the the gunpowder barrels in the water. So please do be careful. Plus, um, it's not here yet, but they start talking about re-adding the idea of pets. So, which by the way, they are, it is confirmed that they're coming in this update on the 11th, by the way, means clue, so, um, be watch out for that. Aye, aye, thank you for letting me know. Uh, but, yeah, so, the, uh, so, uh, for those who are just joining, joining us again, like she said, be careful, careful of looking at those bills in the water, because you could be in for a nasty surprise if you press the wrong button. Trust me, that's happened to me once or twice. <laughs> So this just make, makes it a lot harder for me. And like I said, Dark Relics was our recent update, so this is our third one we're ha having. It's vi it, it is 
gonna be uh, we're gonna find out a little bit more in a few minutes here but yeah uh so if you're just jumping back in to see if he's after such a long time then uh i'll leave a link to this in the description below to both patch notes for both of those updates so you guys can catch up on on it yourself or if you just prefer to hear about it you can i'll link i'll link a playlist i've been making for all of our fevers taverns below so you guys can just watch the previous episodes uh but um but uh yeah so let's see what this one's going to mainly be about and i have a good feeling i know but we'll see same, we'll be talking about that kind of as we get closer to the date itself. Uh, but yeah, the September 11th update will be called Smuggler's Fortune. So next I want to talk a little bit about an upcoming program of ours called the Creator Crew. Uh, so Sea of Thieves has always been about creating stories and players kind of sharing adventures together and having these unexpected encounters and, and wanting to share them with their friends and, and with, with other people. And, you know, we've seen that with... The, the videos that people have created since launch, the streams that we've seen, and, and you know, that over half a million people have either streamed on uh, Twitch or on Mixer uh, since the launch of Sea of Thieves, which is amazing. Right? If you think just that many people have decided to share their stories about the game. So with that in mind, we really wanted to kind of look at what we could do to support both up-and-coming creators, so people that, you know, were really starting out on their journey to create content uh, around games, and people who are already more established too, and people that we can help support from a Sea of Thieves perspective to help grow their kind of channels around the stuff, the awesome stuff that they're doing uh, for Sea of Thieves already. So with the creator crew, this kind of splits into two areas really and one of that is the starter pack um, and this is aimed at kind of beginner and intermediate level creators and what, what this does it it kind of it allows people who are kind of on that on that journey to sign up and become a part of our creator crew and it will offer kind of these uh, in-game rewards that you can get as part of your kind of streaming journey as well as um, tutorials, videos, tips and hints and also a kind of area where people can go and discuss and, and kind of chat with other creators and kind of share tips and hints and really to kind of try and create this community just around uh, sharing and creating and, and helping people start their creator journey. So that's the kind of starter and part of the creator crew. But then we also wanted our, a partner section of the creator crew, which again is for more established creators, people that are already out there creating awesome content for Sea of Thieves that have an established community and, and an audience, and, and allows them to, to kind of partner with us better so that we can help provide more support and guidance um, and, and really help you know, grow and, and amplify the awesome content that people are already creating around Sea of Thieves. So with the creator crew, you're going to have these two kind of areas. There's there's the starters and then there's the partner part. Um, and so this is going to be launching soon. Uh, we're really excited about the kind of opportunity that this um, that this gives us, that it helps us to kind of, you know, help people all along their journey, wherever they are on, on that journey around kind of creating awesome content for Sea of Thieves. And you know, with Sea of Thieves and with the stories that we see and with the growth of the of the game, a lot of that has been driven by people's amazing stories and, you know, by the awareness that that creates and the interest um, amongst players that, that we see. So, you know, this is an awesome thing for um, for everybody. You know, the more people that are, that are streaming or, or creating videos around Sea of Thieves, the more people we see come into the game and ultimately the kind of healthier and, and more robust the player base and community becomes. So, you know, this is... This is a good thing for, for, for all of us when that kind of happens. And so we're creating this program uh, to really just kind of help um, to help grow and manage and, and, um, and make this an even bigger and kind of better place for everyone. Ultimately, we want to do everything we can to support Sea of Thieves creators of all types and of, of all sizes. And, and really, the, the creator um, crew is aimed at Sea of Thieves creators of, uh, yeah, of all types and of all sizes and all content. And we will do everything we can to help everybody grow. Reminder for everyone, September the 11th. Okay, okay. So let's stop there. Uh, yes. So yes, I was about to say, let's stop there because uh, a program like that, uh, I was about to say, Muse Clues, that can be as good thing as they say, but it can also mean a red flag for the game, meaning uh, that there are popularity issues. Yeah. Now, you obviously know that's always been the case with any type of site, whether it be YouTube or Twitch or Mixer, Mixer but eh, programs like this don't really help or hinder, uh, help or hinder uh, people. Now, that's not to say 
say that stuff like this can't help people, people, I'm pretty sure it will. Well, but right, like us, where uh, we'll probably fall into mm, that star pipe they were just talking about, and then um, probably other people like Hippo, uh, Fuzzy. If you're watching, you probably want to. I don't know from our perspective, it's looking like you might want to try uh, the partner pack or whatever they just said. Uh, that's where most likely you're going to end up. Exactly. Exactly. So, um, they said it's launching very soon, so more than likely it's going to probably be after. Uh, after this monthly update, uh, monthly update comes out, or even before, we probably right, won't- right. So, right, but um, they didn't answer too many questions about it. Um, like my question would be, okay, what's the in-game integration that you're going to bring to this? Like, is it going to be additional doubloons, like insider, or additional gold, or something like that to kind of help the creator through tough times, like, you know, accelerated progress is what I'm trying to say, like with insiders. Exactly. So, right. so, um, again, I'm not trying to say, say, be rude to Vera in any shape or form, uh, but, uh, we'll see how this takes off, because like I said, popularity issues, Issues have been a big issue with creating content in general. And trust me when I say, say, A, that was an online game like Sea of Thieves, that's really, really, really hard. Right. And as I said before, when someone creates a program like this as a possible response to low, say, low server density or something, because I've actually been seeing that a lot lately, so it's no surprise to me as of late. Like, I know you and me exclusive, you probably have no idea. Um, but yes, there has been low server density in the past few days I've seen. So, um, it's no surprise that CFEs would be doing this. Um, but ultimately, my final verdict is it's a response to decreasing game popularity in population for gamers in general. It is that. Exactly. So, we'll have to see how this goes, but... Um, yes, yes, this could um, be, like I said, a good thing, or to us uh, content creators, uh, it just might be a red flag to hop on to the next game, or to anyone in general, this might, uh, if it doesn't turn out well, it just might be the end of Sea Thieves, as we know it. And we'll have to see. Exactly. So let's see. Uh, we're going to be along loose the line no matter what, but we'll see how this goes because uh, I'm a little nervous. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> and this goes because of Microsoft's bad history with Xbox One as well. So, yeah, we'll see how this goes. Yes. Yeah, you add the numbers, though. They've had how many emergencies in the past few months where they had to shut the server down? They've had how many connectivity issues, like uh, like we saw recently, the server outage across the whole entire game. Um, plus, there's been stuff like like toxic people in arena and such. So again, again, um, it all adds up. Me as clues, um, this could be it. Yeah, let's hope it doesn't best the bubble. It's only two years in, and we've already had trouble. <sighs> I beg. But we'll see. We'll see. Uh, anyway, so let's continue with the video. As I talked about a little bit earlier is when our next update's coming. So that means anything that's time-limited around the dark relics, so the, you know, the, the rewards that you can get during this time, you've got until September the 11th uh, to get those. But, but things that are permanent are obviously staying around, so things like the Reaper's Chest uh, will be staying uh, beyond that date. Next, I just wanted to talk a little bit about Gamescom. So obviously, a number of us were lucky enough to, to go out there and represent Sea of Thieves and Rare again. Uh, and as always, it's an incredible time to just meet 
you know, so many players, so many fans uh, of Sea of Thieves. And, you know, for us to be able to de- kind of show off duo sloops in public for the first time was super awesome. Um, but, but again, the highlight is always meeting everyone. And so thank you to everybody that met. Thank you to people that brought gifts along um, and, you know, from the from the chocolates from Switzerland to the flags that people have kind of customised from, like, based on their own kind of uh, design they'd made up and, and the messages as well that um, had been kind of included in uh, in this big box of, of kind of gifts that we got. It blows my mind to, to see this and, you know, we always make sure to, to bring that stuff back to the studio and to display it so all of the team can read it uh, because it genuinely just blows us away to be kind of just met with the... I guess the results of the work that we do and, and, and what it means to people. So, so thank you so much for, for taking the effort to come along. And you know, for those that I didn't get to see because I wasn't at the stand when when you kind of brought stuff. Apologies, um, real shame I wasn't there. But great that you met other members of the team and they were blown away by just everything that you kind of talked to them about and, and what you gave them. So yeah, awesome week, amazing to see and and great fun as well to get yeah, to see those duo sloops uh, in action in the arena, which will be something that will be coming to the arena in the future, which is super cool. Hold up. Now, let's stop there. Let's stop there. Hang on there, Ms. Clues. Uh, did they just say duo sloops? Apparently, yes. Yes. So... So, breaking news, people. Sloops and other ships are coming to Arena, because most likely during events like this, they do show off Arena. So, yes, we got Arena um, expanding on the boats here, people. Um, apparently, they're out. They're coming out of Insider now. So, Insiders, uh, I don't know. We don't know if it's safe to talk about it. We, I'm an Insider. Uh, Mute's Clues is somewhat of an Insider. And I say somewhat because he didn't play the game enough. Um, uh, but uh, for those who don't know, no. Uh, so, if that means that it's coming out of Insider and coming to the game very soon, that it's either dropping with this next monthly update or it's possibly going to be a big drop drop when EXO comes out. And that's not too far away either. Yes, exactly. So, uh, and, you know, they're kind of in still the Insider phase right now. So, uh, we don't know. But it's them saying it aloud that, um, that it was at Gamescom. We just might have a confirmed new feature that they previously didn't talk about for this update or in the coming updates. Uh, let's say um, October or November. Uh, you know, they might release it then. Exactly. But either way, either way we do know that it, it dual sloops and possibly, possibly dual, uh, what's the other ship? Uh, Brigantines. Thank you. Uh, dual Brigantines could be coming to see Thieves of Alina very soon. We don't know when, when, but soon usually means within the next one or two months in terms of online games in general. So that could be, could, could that could be next month or the month afterwards. But either way, I do expect an announce, announcement coming within the next couple week, uh, next few weeks. So I would keep my eyes peeled if I were you. Uh, but um, in terms of announcements, speaking of GamesCon, I hate to say it, if you're wondering if uh, anything came out of it, I'm a sad to say that's a no. <laughs> as, as expected, though, though um, they didn't announce anything real big for GamesCon, but I, di- uh, but I do know with uh, another Inside Xbox coming up at XO, uh, 19, uh, 19, that does mean that we'll probably see CFEs there. And they're going to be right. having, having C, uh, streams all week long, uh, weekend long. Since right, and I'm sure you recall me as clues. Um, I'm not sure if you were able to participate, but I took part. Um, they released a limited time of same pack set for all that watch, um, I think it was 15 arena matches in full last time. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. And you watched that many, and they gifted you uh, tied keys to your account, and, you know, you didn't have to go manually enter this time around. You actually got to have those keys tied to your account automatically. Um, you know, you went and did that, and you tied them in. So... Yeah, they might do a giveaway this time around. Like you said, uh, the possibility of streaming 
arena and everything. That might be possibly. But with uh, Black Market coming out in this update too, you know, they might do a new whole entire set in general. At this point, you never know. Exactly. Uh, speaking of Black Market, for those who didn't watch the previous Aviva's Tavern, uh, Tavern, I did talk briefly about that. That So for those who don't know, some of the time-limited cosmetics that were in the previous stuff for year one, one, they are coming back, but there's going to be different variants of them. So uh, the unique ones that you got the first time round, round uh, those are definitely well, done and gone, but there will be variants of those coming with the black market. So Yeah, so to clear the confusion... If you're, again, if you're in that crowd coming back, and let's say you were in the first two months of the game, and you suddenly hear all this, and you're worried that those are going to disappear from your account, um, they're not. It's just, like we said, variants, okay? And we say that in caps, black, fine print, variants, okay? So don't say to Rare and yell at them, oh, well, you're going to take away my stuff. No, they aren't, okay? So, just to clarify, variants. Yes, <laughs> variants. The ones you still have that you got for the first time around ever, they're unique. They're not going to be made ever again. Again, those are your Yes, so, do. good for you if you got them the first time around. Um, again, variants. So, yeah. But, uh, that was the only news with everything from that of was Tavern. Uh, but again, yes, that was a very, that was, um, a vi that is a very, very, very cool thing that we're going to be seeing. Possibly more CFE's news in these, uh, no, in September. And September is actually going to be kind of quiet in terms of games in general, so it's going to be well appreciated for a lot of people, people that there's stuff coming, because October's then going to be our busiest month. <laughs> And I mean it. Right. And I guess we can talk about this one thing they leaked. Um, what was it, last week? Where we're supposed to have fire come into the game, too. Me is close. I know that they're not talking about it, but it was leaked, so we can talk about it. I see. I see. So, of course, you guys know that we don't normally talk about rumors here on the channel, channel but if it's it was if it was leaked, then it's pop. But that usually means it's in the game. Game. I don't mind talking about a data mine since, uh, hello, it's in the game. Aim. Unless they remove it. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know what, what this fire thing is. So if you would explain to me what it is. Yes, yeah, so um, I've read possible news articles about it um, on people speculating on it. Even Falcor himself, the king of sea thieves himself speculate on it um on what it could do for the game uh in terms of ship combat uh, i mean we already have that fire aspect in the devil's war right so imagine your ship getting hit by one of those boulders spewing out of the volcanoes your ship could burst into flames like that um or you know you could put fire to a cannonball flame, like, uh, people didn't think about that, you know, where they could light cannonballs and fire, you know, that could become a thing, and, yeah, people didn't even think of that yet, so, you know, as you said, we don't know what they're gonna do, if at all, but Rare said it, so all we can do is look forward to it, means close. Yes, exactly. Like I said, we normally don't talk about rumors on this channel, but if it was leaked and there's official screenshots and stuff, well, it's in the game, so we can talk about it. But yeah, we don't talk about rumors like the Smash Brothers stuff that's happening. Nah, that's baseless. Baseless. Of course we're not going to talk about it. They don't have proof that it's happening. So, yeah. Uh, but anyways, back to this. So, uh, yeah, let's see what the end of this video is is and then we'll talk about the community news so mm -hmm. yeah awesome awesome week as always really enjoyed it um you know looking forward to the next shows that uh, we'll be at i think that's it for me for this week so uh thanks so much for watching and as always i'll see you on the seas cheers and that's this week's see if he's developer update as expected not too much because coming off again yes but but as uh you've heard us say earlier 
Um, obviously, uh, the one big highlight with the crater crew, or whatever they call it, that that brings somewhat of a red flag to the game here, maybe clues. Um, I, this means uncertainty. That it means a lot of things. It could be the end of the game. It couldn't. Um, this is a big tipping point that we probably have right now, and most people don't know about it. Exactly. So, um, again, we don't know how this could end up. It could end up being good. It could end up being bad. Bad. We'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> right. Uh, but this is a lot like Insider, so we don't know. Um, I mean, you combine that with Insider. Uh, this could also mean to, like, let's, excuse me, like, let's talk about it from the Insider perspective for a moment. If they do go on with this crater crew thing, if they do go on with that, um, this could mean more leaking from Insider. Yeah, and as you, oh, and as you guys know, that's NDA. A. In other words, not non-disclosure agreement, which means you can't say a word about what's inside of Insiders. Uh, either so. Uh, leaks are, leaks come and go, but, uh, I'm a little skeptical. Uh, that could really mean breaking trust between, see, uh, what Rare shows us and, uh, what comes to Insider. Heck, they could even close the Insider program if too much leaks out. So... Right, right. So, yes, uh, this could mean that, mean the deathbed of Insider, too. Um, now that, yes, you bring that up, uh... It could mean either or the either or or both the deathbed of the game or insider or both in this case. Uh, but we'll just see how have to see how this goes. Um, hopefully, it goes like insider. You know, nothing wrong. Uh, you know, in game rewards, that's a good thing. It, exa uh, exactly. I hope that's the case case. Speaking of which, there is some evidence supporting that, though. I just got a notification real quick before we drop into the community news. This is related to Xbox in general for those who are on the beta app. Uh, but the beta app can now be connected to stream, uh, Steam, YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter. Twitter. So, this only supports uh, the whole creator... Uh, create a uh, crew thing that's happening, happening because uh, just originally you could only post to Facebook and Twitter, but you had to do that directly on Xbox. You couldn't connect uh, normally at all. If anything, you can only do that on mobile too. So that's pretty big if they're going to go with that step forward. And for the fact that it's on the beta version of the Xbox app, that says a lot. Right. So, hopefully, uh, they come up with some kind of mechanism um, within the Insider app to block people that may be running a recording program or something in that nature. Like, I know we're creators ourselves, but let's just hope that, um, like, I did run a test last time uh, of the game bar, for example. Uh, it did happen where it did not block the block the recording function which I'm kind of upset about you know they where people might be using that as a pathway to leak and again with this uh, creator crew this might lead if they don't block the recording function for game bar this could mean um big changes to Insider as we know it. Could be the death things there. Could be the death game. Um, you know, there's a lot of ways that this could go. Exa uh, exactly my point. So, um, if we do get, get if Creative Crew does come, I have a good feeling there's going to be an update to both GameBot and the Insider Build of CFEs that's going to prevent any type of recording. Recording. And I'm pretty sure that's going to apply to both PC and Xbox. I don't think there's going to be a way around it. <laughs> right, but if there isn't, like, let's think if there isn't. Um, like, we've seen already how late damage has already been done, yet they put something good out after the aftermath for the game itself. Like, 
take the stream sniping, for example, of your own crew's gamer tags or your gamer tag or someone else's gamer tag of someone else that's in all rain, sir. That already happened. So that hope of even seeing that happen to Game Bar, it could be after the ap- aftermath of damage already. Like, you see, the damage is already happening. Like, every so often, we already see stuff getting leaked from Insider. So, the damage is already happening. It's just up to Rare. Um, as irresponsible as they're acting right now with this stream sniping, that they finally resolve that where, you know, it has to reach a certain peak. Um, and it already has reached that peak, yet look at them there not responding to it as it should. Exactly. So, let's hope things go well. Uh, but anyways, uh, continuing on, on uh, we got some small but good new- news. So we have one update from us uh, on the CP side, and we got a couple small little tasty tidbits from Edicleus and Community. It's actually been a very quiet week, see if he's why, so. <laughs> uh, yeah. But, uh, why don't you start off with, um, our news law, and then we'll go into the community. Um, yes. Yeah, so, our news this week is that, um, let me go into ours, our Discord me where I first talk about it. So, we're releasing a Sea Thieves Network, guys. We're Dipping our toe into the water again. Uh, this time, though, we're going to have two servers in this sort. Um, being as there's a rise in British or Navy-like groups, we're dipping our toe into the water there. So if you're someone that's a Navy-like person, come on down to our server. Uh, we have a server already made for that group. Uh, if you're a pirate type of person, and purely pirate or sailor in general, we're coming out with a server like that real soon. It's going to be run by someone uh, by the name of New Jersey King. He is a war veteran uh, and a sea thieves enthusiast like I am. So I'll look forward to that. But basically how this is going to go, means clues. Uh, I let you in on this yesterday where we're going to have private cross-server events and then what I'm thinking is every so often we let an outside community, outside of the network, come into for a community event or whatsoever. So what that means is that there's going to be a role play. There's going to be possibility for people to make new friends. Possibility that people can maybe discover their new niche or however they feel. But basically, yes. A friendly environment all around on how this is going to go. Everyone, we guarantee, is always going to have a good time no matter what happens. And, of course, there is going to be cross-server communication as well, as I said, with cross-server events. So, say you want to write, write a letter to someone uh, to fully immerse you into the experience. We won't allow DMs uh, between members. The only way the DM system is going to work is we're going to have this uh, story GM bot, this uh, story master bot, where you send that uh, bot or Discord account, which, by the way, that's going to be run by us. So, you know, you send that settler you want to send to somebody, we check it over, see if no no bad words or anything. Uh, So, no swear words, please, unless you're in character. Uh, you know, nothing bad. We don't want, you know, bad language in our server at all. But, yes, we would uh, have your letter sent to us. We would check it, and then if it's good, we'll send it to um, the recipient of your choosing that's going to be in this directory that we're going to create of everyone that signs up for the roleplay initiative in between the two servers. Sounds like a sounds like a good thing. Okay, so uh, yeah, that's our community news. Now, uh, in terms of actual community, <laughs> uh, we got like three pieces of news. 
Uh, so, uh, first of all, we have a face reveal from one of the biggest YouTubers, if not the biggest YouTuber out there. Yeah, Hippo TC. Hello, if you're watching right now, um, please don't mind us showing your face on our channel, first of all. Uh, if, if that's good, great. <laughs> okay. Uh, but yeah, um, how about we go ahead and show off uh, this entire video? Because uh, honestly, uh, this is one of the most exciting videos probably for the community to see. Uh, nobody besides us has shown our faces ever in the Save This Community. Yeah. If not a couple people. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of behind the scenes stuff, stuff for the most part. I mean, people show their, uh, show their stuff, but no one showed the actual faces, faces, faces in the CFC's community aside Law, Law and I, and like I said, a couple other people. So, uh, I mean, like she said, a couple other people. So, yeah, this is the first big one in a while. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's plenty of Twitch streamers, but I haven't seen too many YouTubers do it. Mm. So, why don't we go ahead and do that? You see, at mm -hmm. the moment you have all been waiting for is finally here. Yes, that's right. We have reached 10,000 subscribers here on YouTube, which means Woo! I'm going to do Friend a face for the 10K. I'm also planning to answer some from the community and tell you how you can win your very own one-of-a-kind Mega Keg. Let's go. Now, before I reveal my face, before the big face reveal, I have to warn you. My face has been known to scare the toughest of pirates out on the seas. There's We're nothing not I can do about my face. Yeah, so scary. if you have a weak stomach, my recommendation is to turn around, leave this video, ex of close course, your you computer people, down, let's pause for it. and leave. It's not let's worth it. Let's pause for it. If you people don't want to see his face, skip ahead now. <laughs> Yeah, I'll leave a timestamp below low if you don't want to see that. So, yep. Now that the warning is over, let's count this down. Three, two, two, one. one. Ta-da! Yeah, it's that bad, guys. This is my face. This is all I got. And I hope it's been worth waiting for. I mean, I'm, so, I'm sure some of you instantly just left. They just, like, threw up, maybe. I don't know. This is my face. It's what I got. So hopefully, yeah, uh, he had the most handsome face ever. It. If not, what are you saying, Hippo? You, know you got the below. most handsome just face ever. Let me know ever. what I can do to because <coughs> uh, I don't know if there's much I can do. Um, I'm Anyways, right here, you know. Let's jump into some questions. Rep Raptor ninety eight wants to know what was your first video game. One of the very first games I've ever, ever played was Asteroids over at Friend's House. It was awesome, and I was hooked. See if these is best wants to know, who is your favorite Black Death crewmate? This one is super easy. It is Sharpie JC, of course. She's the star of the show, after all. All right, he's got a follow-up question. What do you like most about your crew? That we are family. Sharpie is my little sister. Lobo is my little brother. Beardo is my bigger brother. Durnan is my brother-in-law. Jester is my cousin. We've been doing game nights now on Tuesday nights for about six years. And we are not stopping anytime soon. Atria wants to know, do you like pineapple on pizza? Yes. Uh, yes, I do. I I'm one of those guys that likes pineapple on their pizza. Next question. Dole Edge Hunter asks, what was the one thing that made you want to try Sea of Thieves? I saw a teaser trailer from Rare back in 2015. I think it was at E3. And what I saw absolutely blew me away. What they were trying to build, what they described, sounded amazing. And I wanted to be a part of it. I was one of the first people to pre-order the game. And I've been on the seas ever since. 123 Anthony 123 asks, How long have you been on YouTube? I actually only have been creating videos for a little over a year. It's something I never really planned to do, but Lobo one day mentioned. Time, time, time. He grew to 10,000 subscribers in a year. A year! Yeah. Mind you guys, if you guys remember, it took, took me a good uh, five to six. Uh, five to seven months for me to 
e each 100 alone, yet alone a thousand. Thousand, so. Why did he hide? But uh, the fact that, uh, fact that he got popular so fast because of CFEs, that's impressive. Cause yes, he, and uh, let's refer back earlier to the creative crew thing. If he's going to grow this fast, then, um, you know, sir, um, people like him could turn the tide for the game. Like, even though, yes, this career crew might be a red flag, uh, if he keeps spilling out good content like this, how he's doing now, then this could turn this career crew from a red flag into a green flag here. Exactly. But again, we'll have to wait and see, so, yeah. Anyways, continuing the video. And hey, Hippo TC, didn't call me that, but yeah, Hippo, we should record our videos and share them with others. I think a lot of people would enjoy them, and so I started creating videos, and, well, here we are. LMT Gaming asks, do you like Lord of the Rings and the Tolkien universe? Uh, absolutely, 100%. Yeah! Yes. Yes, Lord I do. I'm a huge fan. Yeah. In fact, yeah, I case. just watched all of them, including the Hobbit extended versions. If you haven't seen them, highly recommend it. I watch them about every once a year, sometimes twice a year. The whole trilogies, uh, just because I love them, and I have them, and I watch them. They're great. They're amazing. Lord of the Rings. Ali Cheatham's son Carter wants to know when did you become the cursed captain? Well, it has been a long long time I've been the cursed captain so long I don't even remember and I'm kind of going a little bit crazy so it's been a long time probably since 1673 the year of the whale lord somewhere in there I think some that sounds about right Allie Cheatham's daughter Ashley wants to know what is your favorite tall tale honestly I've enjoyed every single tall tale they all had a different flavor to them I loved them all but if I had to pick it would be the fate of the morning star the Snake Queen asks, what inspired you to become a YouTuber? It's honestly something I never thought I would do. I wasn't really ever planning on it. Like I mentioned earlier, Lobo was the one that kind of challenged me to create videos to begin with. Uh, so, you know, it's not ever something that I planned to set out to do. It just kind of happened. Um, but the experience has been amazing. Your guys' support along the way has been incredible. And, well, here we are. So 10,000 subscribers in. I love it. And, uh, yeah, I'm, that's good. Captain Iron wants to know, what do you love most about your community? Honestly, the people and reading interactions between everybody. Like I mentioned earlier, I've been doing family game nights for six years with my family, and we have such an amazing time. That's probably why you guys enjoy watching. You're essentially watching a family play games together, and with that kind of purpose, I wanted to create a community that was family-friendly, that created an environment where people could build relationships with others and have the same type of experiences that me and my family had. That, that's what I love most. That's what I love seeing. Momo224 asks, what do you do outside of YouTube? Well, my day job actually consists of video editing and creating motion graphics. I've been doing it for about 10 plus years throughout my life. It's been something I've always enjoyed, but professionally it's been for the last 10 years. And this question actually leads me into the next thing I'm excited to share with you. Now that the face reveal is over with, now that we've done this part, I'm excited to launch a whole new type of video on the channel. I'm calling them vlogs, but really what they are is I want to do tutorials, show you behind the scenes on YouTube, talk about branding, talk about streaming, talk about recording, talk about editing, talk about motion graphics. I want to give you guys the tools that you need that if you want to do this, if you want to go out and create your own YouTube, if you want to start streaming, I want to give you very easy steps, very easy tutorials on how to do that. We'll make them quick. We'll make them right to the point. Quick, right to the point. Uh, not gonna, not not doubting the dude, but have that always worked? <laughs> Hang on a second. No, both. like no, it hasn't. No. Unlike other YouTubers, guys, you've seen us. They go straight to the point. But when you do that, that let me tell you right now, if you're gonna teach someone how to do something, then 
maybe it's a good idea to have that chit chat a little bit. And uh, like, I get it. You want to get to raw details, but sometimes you don't want to do that. You want to be organic as you actually can on some of these videos. Just a note to some YouTubers out there, uh, like, don't feel afraid to break out of your shell. Just don't. Alright, and excuse us, uh, it seems like he's close to going to have Kayla for a little bit. Hang on, folks. Uh, I'll be back in a minute. 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 My mom's helping me pick out garbage. Oh, okay. Um, I'm waiting on you, so uh, we can quickly edit this out where you're AFK okay for a second. Uh, sounds good. Okay, back. Sorry about that. All right. Again, we can add that. You can add that real quick, right? Uh, yeah. I <laughs> Sorry. Can. It's okay. Uh, <clears throat> hang on. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Now I'm back. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Uh, we'll. Do, I'll just do an intro real quick, like to reintroduce it. Is do it after the edit. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Have something to do. Uh, anyways, as as I was saying, yeah, that's never worked. Work. My personal advice for you: just start uh, doing what you love to do, do, and you'll go from there. Trust me on that. Yeah, and as I said to them while you're away, me is close. Uh, don't don't like go straight forward for it. You're okay with a little bit of ranting, but. As we've seen most uh, say these YouTubers doing, not doing that. They're skipping over details that might be vital to somebody else. It, exactly. So, honestly, honestly, like I said, you'll learn along the way. Way As a YouTube, YouTuber myself that's been doing it for even longer than Lola, <laughs> yeah, it's an up and down roller coaster. Actually, we've been doing it for the same amount of time, I knew. Oh. <laughs> I guess actually, it. I'm the one who sent longer. Actually, <laughs> okay, fair enough. Uh, but either way, we've been long-time YouTubers, so trust me when I say we have plenty of experience of up and downs, and that's just a half of it. <laughs> uh, anyways, continuing with this video.
that's my plan, and I'm pumped for this next stage of the channel. Very, very excited. Now, let's talk about this giveaway. In celebration of 10,000 subscribers on YouTube, I reached out to an Etsy store by the name of Nerd Propellant. This guy is amazing. He creates so many amazing things. But I wanted him to create something special for 10,000 for me. So I couldn't think of anything better to do than to create a unique mega keg, a one-of-a-kind mega keg that you can win. It's going to be gold. It's going to have the Hippo TC signature on the back. I'm pumped. It's, it's going to be great. It's super easy to enter into this contest for this giveaway. All you have to do is follow the link in the description below. There's tons of ways that now, you can No, obviously, you can disclaimer, follow guys. Twitter, follow on uh, Twitter. You can subscribe to uh, YouTube. That always we, we'll helps. We'll just leave a car to the video. Yeah, we will just leave a call to the video so you guys can do it. And if you're watching watching this post, post uh, giveaway, giveaway, and the giveaway is already over, well, yeah, I missed it. <laughs> uh, so, just a heads up. Can you do that? Thank you again, guys. I can't wait to see who wins this, but you have been all incredible, and your support has been absolutely amazing. I can't wait to see where we are a year from now, five years from now, and you guys will all be a part of this journey with me. Again, thank you so much for all of your support. It really, it really does honestly mean a lot to me. I'm excited for the future, guys, and I hope you are too. All right, and that's it from uh, Hippo. Uh, let's see. I, I think uh, from the Red Dog Crew, we have uh, news from them, too, which actually goes into our sports news now. Sports news now, me So, uh, sports fans, you might want to listen in. All right. Uh, go ahead. Okay, so now uh, for you fishers out there, uh, that love to do fishing competitions. Uh, the Red Dog Group uh, put up their first uh, first round of their fish tournament. Uh, let me go into round one results. Or actually, no, Muse Clues, I gave you uh, the round one results via a YouTube video if you want to check that out real quick. Um, I wouldn't have time at the mo moment, uh, Lola. At the time of this recording... Uh, Yacht Club present, Games Presents is going to be happening in about 10 minutes. So, uh, I kind of don't have that much time time to be really check okay, it Okay, then I'll go over it. Uh, let me find it. Okay, so... Oh, come on! They don't talk about it. Okay, so... I don't know. Look it up, guys, for round one. My our apologies, uh... Yeah. Okay, so, but at least we have round two results. So, round two of their fish tourney, um, they say, um, by Captain B himself, he said, quote, Round two of the Kings of Fish tournament was amazing. After a hard-fought three hours, the crew of the war went hands revenge, emerged victorious, and will face off against the Sea Gremlins on the 5th of October in our first semi-final fish-off. Well played, two one heads, revenge, and the Swiss so Mark play. Okay, so congratulations to the winners of round two and one and round one. Um, apparently, Sea Gremlins won uh, round one, so uh, hats off to you guys. Uh, we can't wait to watch you guys uh, go at... Yep. Uh, good luck to you guys. Guys, I wish you the best. Okay, and then, uh, let's see. Then we move on to Race Legends news now. Let me go ahead and pull that up. Give me a moment. Okay, so, Season 3, Week 2 is Saturday, August 31st. Okay, so if I look at my calendar at the time of this recording, that is this Saturday, guys. Okay, so mark, make a reminder on your phone or something. Uh, if you're on watch, that it's at 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time uh, for the U.S. So uh, if you live elsewhere, 
then the U.S. Go ahead, get your time converter out. Uh, again, that is 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time that you want to convert from if you live elsewhere. Okay? Um, but we know uh, for um, Central Standard Time what that means for you guys. That is at 3 o'clock. So go ahead, mark your mark in your uh, Google Reminders or wherever you get your reminders from for that. Uh, race one of that is going to be Sanatorium Crew versus the Headwinds. Then race two is Banana Boys versus the Gussers. And then race three is going to be the winner of both races one and two. So go ahead, um, cheer on your favorite team, team uh, if you're going to attend. Because uh, this is going to be intense, guys. Um, as we've seen uh, previous seasons, and even this one, it's been really intense. Um if you don't know what we mean, go look it up. Yeah, definitely. All right, guys, uh, that is all for now, now I think. Uh, uh, actually, uh, results are coming in on people's reactions for the content creation crew. I'm going to look that up uh, right now, if you don't mind, Muse Clues. Because it is always good to have second opinions for what everyone thinks about this. Sounds good to me, but make it quick. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Um, so let me. All right. So let me see. Okay. So someone thinks it's awesome. Uh, again, small career. So now I'm going to say her name. Then, uh, let me see. Then, quote from Captain Trident. He thinks it's awesome. Um, other people I'm looking at, they're saying it's awesome. So, I don't know. Maybe this might be turned into a green flag after all. But, um, yes, that is one of the key highlights. If you guys are here at the end of the video, the, your main takeaway is... The content creation corner, basically what we're going to call it here at the Gamers, uh, for the Sea Thieves, and also in our sports, uh, this Saturday is another race of legends, uh, big names, uh, or actually, yeah, race one's going to be a bunch of small names, and race two is going to be two big names in the race of legends community going head to head. So, definitely, again, uh, tune in for that. And, uh, yeah, that is pretty much it, guys. Uh, thank you t so much for tuning in for the and Sovereign. If you want to stop in next week, um, go ahead, uh, subscribe to us. So don't feel shy to check our Discord. Remember, uh, we have our own little two spots going on. Exactly. So feel free to uh, check that out. Um, all right. And overall, yeah, have a nice sailing day. All yeah. right. Yep. Uh, we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you guys later.